This is a typical TEE or transesophageal transducer. This transducer is used to perform unobstructed cardiac ultrasounds. The TEE is inserted into the patient's esophagus to view the heart and is one of the only invasive procedures in ultrasound. The probe is very recognizable due to its size and design. It consists of the tip housing and transducer, the bending neck rubber, the insertion tube, strain relief, control housing, cable, and connector. The first step in any inspection should be disinfection. All surfaces of the transducer should be cleaned before handling. Start at the tip and work back to the connector. After cleaning and disinfecting, a visual inspection should be completed before imaging occurs. Starting at the tip, look for cracks, cuts, and gaps in the seal. Inspect the lens for bite marks, cuts, and cracks. Also check for fluid infiltration. Inspect the BNR, or bending neck rubber, for cuts, nicks, tears, and holes. Also check for bite marks, chemical damage, and separation from the seal beads. When imaging, check the BNR specifically for CW noise. Next is the insertion tube. Check for bite marks, chemical damage, which is usually due to Cydex and over-soaking the transducer. Chemical damage can cause the probe to yellow and decay. TEE probes should have a shiny coating on the insertion tube. The control housing allows the operator to steer the probe as well as the lens. These are all mechanical controls and should be checked thoroughly. Use the controls to check the up and down and side to side articulation of the probe. Steer the transducer from 0 to 180 degrees to verify motor operation. Verify articulation locks. There should be no drift. Check the strain relief for separation, cuts, discoloration, and decay. Check the entire cable for stains, holes, cuts, and tears. Verify all components of the connector by checking the locking handle. Also look for bent or damaged housings. Also check for bent, broken, or damaged pins.
Once the visual inspection is complete, proceed to imaging with the probe. Look for dead or weak elements. Check image clarity, depth and penetration. Also look for Doppler noise, either color or spectral Doppler. 